When I first saw that you could mod your Nintendo Wii completely online, let me just say, I was a little skeptical. And then I tried it for myself, and sure enough, it's the real deal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mod your Nintendo Wii completely online, and we're starting now. Power on your Wii and make sure you're connected to the internet and have the most recent version of the official firmware. Use the Wiimote to select Wii Options with the A button. Then come over with the pointer to Wii Settings and select that with the A button. In Wii Settings, use the pointer to click on the right arrow and then select Internet from the list of choices by clicking on it with the A button. Use the pointer to select the active wired or wireless internet connection that you're using. From here, navigate down until you get to Change Settings and then select Change Settings with the A button. In the Change Settings option, use the pointer to navigate over to the right arrow and select it with the A button and keep selecting it until you get to the option for Auto Obtain DNS Settings. You'll need to change to Manual DNS Settings. Use the pointer to navigate over to No and then click on No with the A button. Then come down to Advanced Settings and click on it with the A button. You'll need to enter the following settings in Primary and Secondary DNS. For primary, it's 97.74.103.14. And for secondary, it's 173.201.71.14. Then come down to confirm and click it with A, and then click save with A. The system will initiate an internet connection test based on these new DNS settings. You should get a pop-up message that everything went to plan. If it didn't, check your internet connection and check those DNS settings. If you're prompted to do a software update, click on No to continue. Let's go ahead and run the first part of the exploit. Use the pointer to go to Back and select Back with the A button. Continue to go back in the menu settings until you see the User Agreement box at the bottom. Navigate over to it and click on it with the A button. When you're prompted about Wii Shop and Wii Connect, navigate over to Yes and select it with the A button. Then when prompted, click on the Next button at the bottom. It'll tell you it's connecting to the internet and you should get this screen. This is the start of the online exploit. Navigate down with the pointer to I Accept and click on I Accept with the A button. Then you'll have to wait for up to two minutes for this process to complete. Once the process is completed, you'll get this pop-up message telling you if you paid for any of this stuff, you got ripped off. The message lasts about 30 seconds and then you'll get a prompt that says press the 1 button to continue. Press 1. This takes you to the Hack Me Installer main menu. I want to slow the roll here for just a second because there's an important thing to take note of here. If you have a healthy Wii, you should be able to install the Homebrew channel with no problem. But make note of this. This has nothing to do with the health of your Wii and everything to do with the era in which it was manufactured. If you get a message under Boot Me that it can only be installed as an iOS, then it impacts which options you use in the upcoming menu system. We'll take a look at this in just a moment. Just make note of whether you can or cannot install Boot Me to Boot 2. In the Boot Me Installer menu, use the D-pad to scroll all the way up until you get to Install the Homebrew Channel and select it with the 1 button. Then use the D-pad to scroll up to Yes and select it with 1. The process only takes a few seconds and once it's done, select Continue with the number 1 button to go back to the Hack Me Installer main menu. From here, use the D-pad to scroll down to Boot Me and select it with number 1. With the SD card inserted, your system will need to prepare the SD card by installing some key folders and files. Use the D-pad to scroll up to prepare an SD card and select it with number 1. Then when prompted, scroll up with the D-pad to Yes and select Yes with number 1. Boot Me will install some key files and folders over to the SD card, and when it's done, you can just press number 1 to continue. If your system reported that BootMe can be installed on Boot 2, you'll have that option. But since this one didn't, scroll up to Install BootMe on iOS and select it with number 1. Then go up to Yes with the D-pad and select it with number 1. Your SD card's 100% ready now. Move up to Yes and select it with number 1 to install BootMe completely onto the card. Then when it's done, select Continue with number 1. That's everything with the HackMe installer. Scroll down to return to the main menu with the D-pad and select it with the number 1 button. Then use the D-pad to scroll down through the menu choices to exit and select it with number 1. This is going to take you directly to the Homebrew channel on the Wii. With these system modifications installed, you definitely want to back up your NAND or your flash memory on your Wii. Press the Home button on the remote, then use the D-pad to navigate down to Launch Boot Me and select it with the A button. The Wiimote doesn't work in this section, so you can use the buttons on the face of the Wii itself to navigate. 
Use the start button to move the selected highlighter over to the right until you get to the settings gear icon and select it with eject. Then select the first menu choice you see here, which is going to be transferring the system NAND from the system to your SD card. This backs up your main operating system files from the Wii itself over to your SD card for storage. This process normally takes about 10 minutes in real time, but we're not watching that paint dry. This is time accelerated by about 3000%. Once it finishes the process of copying over your system NAND to the SD card, it will also do a verification step. This is optional and you can press the eject button to abort this step and go back to the main menu. But it really is a good idea to spend a few extra minutes in real time to let this make sure it's backed up your system memory the right way. Then you can press any button on the face of the Wii to go back to the boot me main menu. Then use the start button to navigate all the way over to the right and select the back arrow with the eject button. From here, you can navigate directly back to the Wii main menu by selecting it with the eject button. And from here, you can reactivate the Wii mode and navigate through the Wii menu system. Why not take your Wii to the next level now that it's been soft modded? Check out this video here shown on screen and linked in the pinned comment and description below. See you there.